Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to be talking about these power monitors. This is one made by Green Sun and if we quickly take a look at the computer screen you can see over here this is what we're looking at. These are wireless Wi-Fi so it's not for the um, Zigbee but it's Wi-Fi uh, connection and it works with Google Home and Alexa if you want to use voice activation. Now these ones here you can see here there's the power monitor on the device. Now these ones here at the moment you can get for $21.89 uh, for a four pack. Pretty good. Uh, they're a little bit different to these ones. These don't have power monitors in them. So these are new enough the same price. Oh. Near enough the same price, but they don't have power monitors in them. They still work with uh, Google Home and Alexa, but they don't have power monitors. And personally, I don't see the point in buying them unless you've got the power monitors because, uh, well, I'm going to show you now. Now, there are a couple of caveats with these, and I'm going to tell you what they are. This is a different power monitor. Uh, the caveat is, or the downside is, that you can't, with a modern washing machine, like uh, my smart washing machine, you, um, it's not analog. You can't just get it to wake up by the socket coming on. You've got to actually press the software button, yeah? Um, that will be the same on the microwave. If you've got the analog microwaves, the ones that you just turn around, turn the timer, um, you can set that, 10 minutes, and have it so the socket isn't on. Uh, let's say, for instance, on this one, on the microwave here, set it so the socket isn't on, um, and then when you want to, you can set up a timer, so you could just say, let's see on the timer here, and uh, we can say after whatever minutes, one hour, let's say we want it, to, let's say we're going to bed at 11 o'clock at night and you want it to come on at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. So after nine hours, we just flip that through to nine hours, or well, let's just say eight hours and 30 minutes, we'll have it coming on uh, half an hour earlier. We set it so it comes on and okay that. So that's simple enough, right? Now we've got our timer set and that's good. But you can't do it with a touch screen programmable type microwave because you've got to be able to, you know, you, you these things can only switch on and off things. So if you've got your kettle set to the on position, yes, it can do it. Um, if it's a, if it's an electronic type of kettle, you can't do it. Unfortunately, that's in a way. Is it? Um, is it a bad thing? Uh, well, no, because there are things you can do to get around it. Like my washing machine, it's got a delay thing, you know, so you can tell it to delay start until whatever time. And I'm pretty sure with microwaves, I mean, I don't know the microwaves, but any, anything that's analog like that, you clunk on and off switch to actually power it on and off. And that's all you got to do to make it work. And then it's fine for it. Uh, the great things that it's useful for are things like uh, today's uh, TVs. Like my TV here is the big telly. Um, if you switch it off by the remote, it leaves it in standby mode, which means it's always using a little bit of juice. It'll take a little bit of time before it shows up the juice. It's saying 10.17 uh, watts there. I think it's just done a quick. Uh, um, not caught the entire power actually or possibly it has while it was just charging those capacitors when it comes on but in a minute that will show us what it's actually using in standby mode it's not quite got down to the standby mode because it doesn't use as much of that but at the minute it's using 6.1 watts and that's where one of these can come in handy because instead of you having to reach around the back of the tv that's its normal standby type of power up 1.27 watts instead of you you reach around the back of the tv you can just uh you can say, computer, turn off the big telly. Okay. All right. I don't know if you heard that in the background, but it said okay, and look, the big telly's gone off. Um, 
Because that's where one of these comes in really handy. You know, you're falling asleep and you just shout out to your Amazon. This is what mine would normally be called Alexa, but I just told it I've renamed it the wake word to be computer. Uh, now, some of the good things about this is one, well, you get to see what your usage is. Now, yesterday I watched a couple of movies. Can't remember exactly what I watched. Um, and this is on the old thing, so I'm going to go through this now quick. Uh, so this is on the weekly, there's Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Uh, we can see here, that's the lowest there, that's uh, 7 pence used. Click there, you can see what's used across the month. And, uh, you know, day like that day, I used 21 pence there. 19 pence there, and we look down there, and it's uh, 2 pence. Not a lot, we get to see across the year. What's used from month to month? So there's uh, that'll be July, because that's August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, and June. Uh, so we got to see in October. Used quite a bit there. That cost in total five eighty eight for that month, which is quite nice to be able to do that. We get to see down here uh, our yearly consumption. This is the annual total. We've got a yearly consumption there. Maybe I can turn that up. Oh, there you go. It seems a bit brighter by itself. Look, that's better. Yearly consumption of uh, 135.77 kilowatts at 43.99. So that's pretty good. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to click onto this. There's a little thing up here. You can just click on there. And that's when you can set uh, the amount. So I've adjusted mine so it's wrong. So I'm just going to put in mine now. I'm going to click on this down here. I'm going to go 23. And it's about 23.5, um, yeah, about 2.35 pence, so um, 23 uh, and a half pence. Click OK on there, and we're good, and now we've got that adjusted uh, amount. So as you can see, I think it was uh, £37 or so £31, I can't remember, to look back on the video, I can't be bothered. Um, and then we can have a little look what we've got in here. So you've got this energy saving mode. Energy saving mode turns off your device when the maximum power consumption is reached. So if you say, let's say you've got an electric fan heater or one of these oil electric heaters uh, connected to it, and you decide, you know, once I get up to 500 watts or something, I don't want it to be using any more energy, just turn that on. And then we can just type in the maximum power consumption there. Okay. Um, uh, you can do power protect mode as well, so you can turn that on there. So you can say if it exceeds a certain power setting, let me just push that up before it falls over. If it exceeds um, a certain amount, then switch off again because it's on a, the turn off thing there. So now I've, ne I've never used those, but I can see where they could come in handy if you're just trying to let's get rid of that. Let's, my screen here and I'm just going to OK that into there. Now another good thing about this that I found was you got you can schedule the timer so you can switch it on and off. Uh, this is your normal sort of schedule you know switch it on let's say at 18.30 you want it to come on uh, repeat it daily turn on the device or turn off the device so you can um, uh, let's do one here so we've got 18.27 so we say at 18.30 uh, I can't remember what devices is for, but it won't matter. Uh, we can turn it on, we can say uh, repeat once or do it individually days. We can say turn on or turn off the device, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to say turn it on at 18.30. And, uh, oops, go back and do that again. We're going to turn it on at 18.30. And it's just going to do the once, and so we're going to say, okay. And here you can see there's a little like on here this is sunrise and this is sunset so you can tell it to do it for, let's say for lights uh, turn it on and off at sunrise sunset you say okay there and now we've got our turn on well that's all well and good but we also want to be able to turn it off so we could say turn it off at uh, 1700 so it's only going to be on for half an hour then we do the same thing just but this time put it off there and we'll do this we could do it at 1732, 1735, you do it for whatever you like, but it's a normal create schedule type of thing. And if we want to get rid of that one, we can delete it by just confirming the delete there. We're back to no schedule, so that's all pretty good. We got a timer. Um, so 
again we get the choice between it turning off the device after a certain amount of time uh, on the device sorry or turning off the device a certain amount of time and we can uh, put that onto a straight away we're going to go for a, a countdown on the timer and then your device will turn off which is pretty good because you can use that um, oh, let's go back in here and just just that you can use this timer um, we can stop it there and we can use the timer um, let's say when you go to bed and you sort of want to charge up my phone now and rather than leave your phone plugged in all night which damages the battery because it's constantly keeping at 100% and the batteries don't like it you can just put on a, a timer if you like um, and do the do that and it's pretty much the same thing with this engine thing engine mode means each time the device is turned on, it will automatically turn off after a period of operation. So, um, I'm trying to think of what else you might use this for apart from charging um, your phone. And off the top of my head, I can't, but that sort of thing again, you could use it for, you could tell it to stay on for an hour and a half um, and just set that to do that. Mm, same sort of thing as the timer, but I'm sure there's some people out there who be able to think of other things that you can do with that. And, um, and then you got this away mode, so start uh, and end time. So it's basically just putting in a few of the settings that you might have used if you set up a schedule for turning this thing on and off through this system. But still, nice, easy, uh, quick way to get to it there. Now, one of the things that we did like about this was not only have you got the ability to switch these things on and off and you get to see what your weekly... Uh, on here because we're looking at the week of what we've used 41 pence on the big tally and we get to see it on the monthly we use £1.91 so far and these are the days and of course the nice thing about it is you've got the, the monthly average here 266 and the total annual amount um, what else what else can you do with this so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of a device so we're going to go onto this and we're going to click into the settings here and we're going to delete this device. We're going to delete it on purpose. Uh, bump, that's it, we're gone. All right, so this now is if you can see it. Let me just shut these out. I've got wires plugged into my phone. You see that look? It's in pairing mode. Now, in order to get this to work, you want your Wi Fi on, which mine is, and you also want your Bluetooth on. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure about the location, my location's on anyway, so let me just uh, just say done on there. And then we're going to go into add a device. So up the top here you see this um, plus button. So we can click on there, and because we've got our Wi-Fi on, or Wi-Fi, whatever you want to call it, and our Bluetooth, we can start looking to add a device. We're going to add a smart plug, I'm just going to look down and see if there's one branded um, green energy or anything like that. Note these are all different things. There's loads of different things. But we're just going to go for the smart plug. Nearby device, look. Allow access to nearby devices. Go to settings, allow. Click here to enable access. And search for devices. Allow location access while using the app. And I think what we've done is we've found ourselves a smart plug there. It's connecting. There we go. We're gonna choose a, um, probably shouldn't have shown that. There we go, to choose a network to go on. We're gonna connect. And now we've successfully connected to the router. It's connecting to the vSync cloud. It says, there we go, initializing device, and now we're going to choose where we're going to pull it. Um, I'm just going to say I'm going to put it into uh, home, so it will just be in the general area. We're going to give it a name, and just for now, I think I'm just going to call it Smart. Smart, but I smart it with that. And I'm going to go next. And save. 
your device is set, go ahead and try it out. So that's that clicked. Um, third party apps, we don't want it to be with that because I don't have that. Uh, we're going to be happy. Mine's already connected to um, the Amazon system. So if I say computer, turn smart on. Sorry, what device? Ah, now this is because it's not spelt as. Sorry, what device? It's not spelt the way it should be. So I'm just going to click smart there. Click OK. Right now it's called smart there. Computer, turn on smart. Okay. Okay. That hasn't changed yet, but it will, and that switched itself on. So you heard it click down here. It's just not showing up here just yet. Uh, there you go. It's showing. Then you can see it's on there. It still says smart with a four up here. But if you just back out of that, and then we'll go into that now and it'll have changed it smart um well that is basically it you may want to take note that if you were going to be trying to put two of these in together next to each other because they take up a bit of space you can't the two of those will not fit but you can get a charger in next to it not a lot of space look you can get a charger next to it, so you can probably put two chargers and two of these and just not right next to each other. But it's worth noting that. Um, if the network goes down, you've got a button on the side, so you can use that rather than um, rely on the network or any instruction to go across the network to turn it on off. Just turn the button on off so it's not as low you're going to be left not being able to... Uh, um, change your power, your power status from off and on. As you can see, I've got a few here. I've got mine set up so you've got like living room here, and then we've got box. That's my main computer. Flea trap, the big telly, the amplifier, and the bench, which is on at the moment. In the kitchen. Uh, what would you do? You want to move these around? So let's say we want to go back to the living room here. We want to stick the flea trap in the kitchen because we might want to do things in group. Um, with the kitchen we can go into manage devices and we can say to the flea trap here uh, one we can move it we can rename it we can share it or we can delete it these are the things we've got down the bottom here as our options which is pretty good uh, the share thing is uh, basically just put in an email address uh, it would know because you're on the Wi-Fi so you've got a connection to the internet anyway so if I was put in you know elecky from Gmail it would know if that account's on there or not um, and then you just basically invite it and there's a week uh, for, the uh, for the person to respond to the email um, put the vsync is what you're going to be using on this onto their phone so let's just uh, back out of this for a second and just go on to what this actually is this vsync go back here so this is what you're going to be getting for your Mac or your um, Android, that's the app you're going to be using. I haven't had any problems with it, I've not had any problems with the app, I've not had any problems with these devices. If I had, I would tell you, it would be the first things pretty much that I'd tell you um, if there are any issues. I use these ones branded green some, I've not tried um, other ones of this particular um, setup. I am at the moment looking at these. Um, these are more like in line where you can't just plug something in you got to connect something in I've already swapped out a few of my things like uh, the amplifier uh, here is on one of these now uh, even though that's that is actually this because it's not plugged in if I were to uh, see that in a moment so, uh, let's see, get my finger there as well oh it's got a is that plugged in it's got to actually uh, get an online connection in the first place. So let's just leave that there for a second and then it timed out. But like I say, look, even if it times out there, you can switch it on and off. This It just takes a, a few moments for this to get a, a network connection. Um, if I turn that off there and turn it back on, I'm pretty sure we can do that now. There we go, look. 
turn it off and turn it back on yep so it, they do react uh, pretty quickly but I'm now starting to use these as well and I'll give you some more information on these at a later date but yeah um, you know not not a bad not a bad piece of kit like I say I mean I've got them all out of place yeah I know that wasn't going to work very well I do have a proper little stand for this thing but I can't find it I get to see what my network uses. At the minute it's using 6.57 watts, uh, which is pretty good. Um, I don't actually like any of that to change particularly, um, but I do get to see what it uses over the week, over the month, like everything else. Uh, we get to see the usage on these things. So we've been doing some internet browsing here. Seven pence. Five pence, five pence, and this is of course at that rate again. So, in case you didn't see how I changed that rate there, so I'm just gonna go 23, 23, five, done. So, okay, to that, now we can see how I've done four pence and five pence on the, on the higher ones. Uh, to, to be honest, I can I can for I like things that don't just work on the day when you get them. I like them to work nice and seamlessly in the app, and I like them to work as a device, uh, and not be one of these ones that after a few months you have to throw away or you find it to be annoying. This I haven't. Uh, if I had, I would tell you, and uh, and that's that. That's everything. Now I need to turn off my network. I wouldn't be very good with it. There's no locks, that would be quite good if you could actually lock these things, like if you could uh, have the network, because you don't want that to be adjusted at all, ever, um, you want that to be on, it'd be nice if there was a way that you could actually lock it, so you'd have to put in the password or something like that, maybe that's uh, asking a bit too much from, from, the, uh, from the device itself and the app, I don't know. But it is nice that uh, it's got all the features it's got. It's pretty much covered just about everything. So there you go. So that's it. That's what that's like. It's a nice, robust piece of kit. It doesn't feel flimsy. None of this is loose. I've had stuff where it just felt like it was uh, going to come apart. It's got a nice, firm switch on it. Um, yeah. I'm not affiliated or anything like that. I'm just an end user. I guess um, I'm quite chuffed. When things actually work as uh, as well as what they as they should. All right, guys. Hope you found this useful, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.